I spent over 100 hours testing free WhatsApp-related OSINT tools to find the best for defenders and investigators. In our hyper-connected world, a simple string of digits can reveal a person's entire digital life. We're diving into Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, focusing on tools that leverage WhatsApp, one of the world's most popular messaging apps. This is about digital privacy and defense, not invasion. Use this knowledge ethically. By understanding these tools, you'll see how security professionals work and recognize the digital footprints you leave every day. This knowledge is your first line of defense in an increasingly transparent digital age. Ready to see how much information is out there and how to protect yourself? Let's get started. Let's start with something subtle, the WhatsApp Web Tracker. This tool doesn't read messages. It's a passive logger, a digital doorman for WhatsApp Web. Once linked, it silently monitors when an account connects and disconnects, logging session times and durations. For investigators, these patterns can reveal daily routines, work hours, late night activity, or time zone clues. Metadata like this is powerful. It builds a behavioral picture without ever seeing a message. For defenders, it's a reminder. Using WhatsApp web, especially on shared computers, leaves a trace. Even your online presence, just being online, can be monitored by those who know where to look. The tool is simple, passive, and undetectable to the target. Over days or weeks, it reveals patterns, work schedules, sleep habits, and periods of high or low activity. Intelligence work is about turning raw data into actionable insight. A single login means little, but hundreds plotted over time tell a story. The WhatsApp Web Tracker is a foundational OSINT technique, your first step from a phone number to a behavioral baseline. It's a silent observer, gathering data points that, when analyzed, can be surprisingly revealing. Remember, even without invasive techniques, digital breadcrumbs can expose more than you think. For privacy, always log out of WhatsApp web and avoid using it on public machines. The lesson, your online habits are visible, protect them. Now, let's put a name to the number with Truecaller. Truecaller is a massive, crowdsourced phone directory, over 300 million users strong. Enter a number and it often reveals a name, sometimes the real one, sometimes whatever others saved it as. It can also show a profile picture which can be used for reverse image searches to find social media or professional profiles. Sometimes you'll even get an email address, another lead for investigation. For defenders, this is a wake-up call. Your number, name, and photo might be publicly searchable if you've ever been in someone's contacts. Manage your privacy settings and be mindful of what you attach to your number. Truecaller is the bridge from anonymity to identity, a crucial first step in any OSINT workflow. It's not always 100% accurate, but it often gives you what you need to move forward, a name and a face. Cross-reference with other sources for confirmation. The digital world opens up once you have that initial identity. Treat every result as a lead, not a fact. With a name and face, it's time to find their digital playground. Enter ICON. ICON links phone numbers directly to social media accounts, especially Facebook and Instagram. Social profiles are gold mines, public photos, friends lists, posts, and sometimes geotagged locations. Manually searching for a name is tedious, but a phone number is unique. Icon cuts through the noise. It automates the hunt, taking you straight to the right profile if a link exists. Now, you're building a real-life profile, hobbies, networks, events, and more. For investigators, it's about verifying identity and mapping connections. For privacy, remember, your phone number may still be linked to your social accounts. Review your settings. Icon is the bridge from identity to context, connecting the dots visually and quickly. Limit what's public and consider if your number needs to be tied to your accounts. When the obvious tools fail, you need a wider net, Sync.me. Sync.me is a data aggregator scouring the internet for any mention of a phone number. It pulls from public records, obscure social profiles, forums, old ads, and more. It's great for uncovering historical or obscure digital traces, sometimes even decade-old posts. For investigators, it enriches your data or helps when you're starting with a low-profile number. You might find a LinkedIn profile, an old forum post, or a hobby group mention. The results can be messy. False positives and outdated info are common. But within the noise, you can find critical puzzle pieces. Sync.me is digital archaeology, 
digging through layers of the past for hidden connections. When the easy path is closed, this is your tool for the back alleys of the web. Sometimes you need to know where a number is mentioned publicly. Social Searcher does just that. It scans social platforms, blogs, forums, and news sites for any public mention of a phone number. This is powerful for reputation checks or finding exposed data, like a number in a marketplace post or a blog comment. For individuals, it's a way to see if your number has been posted somewhere you didn't expect. For investigators, it provides context, what's being sold, discussed, or complained about. Social Searcher also gives basic analytics, sentiment, platform, and context. It's about finding the digital echoes of a number, candid snapshots of activity or needs. Anything posted publicly can be indexed and found. Be careful what you share. Use this tool to monitor your own exposure and understand the risks. Now, let's analyze the number itself with numbering plans. This tool decodes the country, area code, and original carrier, providing technical validation and context. It helps verify claims. If someone says they're in London but the number is US-based, that's a red flag. Knowing the original carrier and region helps tailor your investigation to the right geographic context. While numbers can be ported, the original data is a valuable anchor. For OSINT, this is a foundational step. Always start with technical verification. It ensures your search is grounded in reality, not assumptions. Work smarter by understanding the story behind the digits. With so many tools, where do you start? The OSINT framework is your map. It's an interactive mind map of hundreds of OSINT tools organized by function, usernames, emails, social media, phone numbers, and more. Click the telephone numbers node to see a curated list of relevant tools. For beginners and pros alike, it's a goldmine, your central library for investigation. The framework grows with you. Start with basics, then explore niche tools as you advance. It's constantly updated by the security community. Bookmark it. It's your launchpad for any OSINT journey. The OSINT framework empowers you to keep learning and exploring beyond this video. Next, a tool that demands caution. WhatsApp Group Link Finder. It indexes publicly posted WhatsApp group invite links, searchable by keyword. Joining these groups can reveal communities, conversations, and member numbers. But the ethical and legal risks are huge. Members may expect privacy, even if the link was public. Use only for legitimate research, like monitoring public scam or extremist groups. For most, the lesson is defensive. Never post group links publicly. Anything on the public web can be found and indexed. A single link can open a door into a semi-private space. Think before you share. Can we estimate someone's location? Mobile location sleuths help. They analyze number metadata, country, area code, carrier, and number blocks to narrow down likely regions or cities. It's educated guesswork, not GPS tracking, but it can focus your search from a country to a metro area. These tools also reveal if a number is mobile, landline, or virtual, crucial for assessing reliability. For privacy, remember, your number structure leaks geographic clues. Even without GPS, your digits tell a story about where you might be. Investigators use this to target local records or groups. It's another piece of the digital puzzle. Protect your number accordingly. The final and most powerful tool, Spokio, a commercial people search engine. It aggregates public records, social media, property, court records, and more into a single report. Spokio maps relationships, finds relatives, associates, and alternative contacts. The potential for misuse is enormous. Never use it for harassment or illegal purposes. For professionals, it's invaluable for lawful background checks or reconnecting with lost family. For everyone else, it's a sobering reminder. Your life is recorded in public and semi-public records. Understand the power and responsibility that comes with this data. Use it ethically or not at all. We've explored 10 powerful OSINT tools that can unravel a digital life from a single WhatsApp number. Each tool builds on the last, creating a workflow for digital investigation and a lesson in privacy. These tools are powerful, but with great power comes great responsibility. Use this knowledge for defense, legitimate investigation, and lawful research, never for snooping or harassment. Protect your own digital footprint and act ethically online. Which tool surprised you most? Let me know in the comments. If you found this valuable, like and subscribe for more on tech and privacy. Stay curious, stay safe.